Taiwan faces an aging dilemma in its working age population. In 2022, the National Development Council's data showed that 7 million people were between 45 and 64, representing 43.3%, the highest proportion of the working age population. And this number is projected to exceed 50% by 2040. Despite this demographic shift, companies have a notable reluctance to employ older workers, which is reflected in the diminishing participation of those over 55 in the labor force. Some people will question you, why are you applying for this job with such a salary and a job with no level? What are your previous qualifications and what is your previous salary? A recent employment trend report for middle-aged and elderly workers from a local job bank highlights critical labor shortages in three sectors. Accommodation and catering services, wholesale and retail, and the electronics and semiconductor industries. Yet, these industries are less inclined to hire middle-aged and elderly workers, with a recruitment friendliness rate of less than 50%. There is no more demographic dividend. A company will face a worker shortage if it doesn't overcome its past employment myths. You can redesign positions or remodel workplace learning courses for middle-aged and elderly people to help them survive and pass on their experience. The advantage of middle-aged and elderly people is that even though their physical strength cannot be compared with that of young people, they are punctual and have a strong sense of responsibility, which is a very important stabilizing force in our store. As Taiwan approaches becoming a super-aged society by 2025, where one out of every five people will be over 65, the persistent declines in birth rates further complicates the scenario. However, this labor shortage crisis presents an opportunity. By integrating senior workers more effectively and fostering integrational collaboration, businesses can maintain and even boost their competitive edge. My colleagues here are very willing to help, and many take the initiative to assist me. I hope that in the workplace, colleagues will not be discriminatory towards middle-aged and elderly people. Wang Yijie, Zhang Zhenan, Jamie Lin Pinzon, TVBS World Taiwan.